was my friend. gas or something? We have plenty of fuel. High amps. Oil pressure's in the green, but the power plant seems to be faded. What do you think? I think we need a mechanic. Well, can't you use the sphere to fix it? Could if I knew what to fix. You mean you can travel across the galaxy, but you can't fix a car? I'm a navigator. I wish I'd inherited some of those navigational genes. I've landed us on the dark side of the moon. I saw a dirt road and a rusty mailbox back there. Yeah. What did it say, Bates Motel? Why do I get the feeling that we're gonna find nothing but bones out here? You watch too many spooky movies. Look who's talking. <sighs> Talk about in the middle of nowhere. I see electricity, but no phone lines. Nobody's home. We're being watched. Are you trying to scare me? No. What do you want? Our car broke down on the road. We ain't got a phone here. We know. Is there someone around here who does have one? There ain't no one else around here. It is the Bates Motel. What? Nothing. What's the matter with your car? I don't know. Can you tell me where the nearest mechanic is? North, 40 miles. Can you give us a lift? I don't go into town but once a month, and that's a couple of days from now. Thanks. I only go in once a month, and that's enough for me. I understand. Thank you. Hey! 
stay in our old bunkhouse tonight if you want it. Thank you. We have a camper. Warm in there. But you suit yourself. There's a storm coming up. Oh, thank you. We Friendly, isn't he? They seemed harmless enough. Man with a young son ought to be more careful than get stuck out here. That's no reason to be rude. I don't know of a better one. I guess he was right. Yeah, it looks like another long, hungry night. Well, there's an apple in the camper. I drowned before I got there. Besides, graves open up on nights like this. Or Bates Motel? Yeah, go ahead and laugh, but weird things do happen. You mean like, um, an alien from space landing on the planet? We're having chicken for supper. Are you, uh, inviting us? If you like. Yes, you might. I'm Mary Brady. The man you spoke to is my husband, Frank. We're not used to having visitors. Well, I'm Paul Forrester, and this is... Suppose the food's poison? How hungry are you? Yeah, okay, but I'm gonna let them take the first bite. Sorry, but we're dripping water. Come in. Sit down. Uh, this is our daughter, Julie. Julie, these are the people I told you about. The father is sitting across from you and the boy on his left. Hello. Hello. Hi. Lord, we thank you for this, your bounty. Protect us through the years from the evils of the world and the Satan inside ourselves. Amen. Amen. What are your names? Paul. Scott. Hi. What's the matter? You ain't never seen a blind person before? No. So how long have you lived here? man asked you how long we've lived here. I heard him. Since just before Julie was born. 18 years. Must be uh, kind of hard living so far away from everything. If it wasn't what we wanted, we wouldn't be living here. Son got me off my dishwashing chore. How did you know I was out here? I sense you standing here. I can see with my ears and my hands and my nose. Something else, too. I can't really explain it, but Ma says God gave it to me just to kind of balance things out. The nearest town, what's it like? I don't know. I've never been away from here. Well, not since I was five. What do you do? I'm a photographer. Of what? Oh, different things. We travel around a lot. Oh, that must be wonderful. See new places and new things. And then having pictures of it all, it's kind of like having the world in your pocket. <laughs> we have been a lot of places. Ma says I'm pretty. 
Do you think so? Yes. Can I see what you look like? I, I can if you let me touch your face. Could I? Sure. Raining, Pa. It'll start up again. You come on inside and get ready for bed. Pa, it's early. Your mama says you need to wash your hair. All right, Pa. Good night, Pa. Good night. I'll go down and take a look at your camper in the morning. Maybe it could be fixed without a mechanic. Thank you. Then you can be on your way. Yes. You think we can get out of here tomorrow? I hope so. Good. This place gives me the creeps. I mean, something weird is going on here. I don't think they like people. Julie hasn't been off this place since she was five years old. Why, is she a prisoner or something? No, I don't think so. I think it's something else. What? I don't know. Something I've never come up against. It's me, Paul. How did you know I was here? Well, that was easy. Your shadow cut off the field of sun. Besides, I heard you. <laughs> so much you know. So much I don't know, too. Of course, I listen to TV. Mostly the word of the Lord, though, through his ministers. Nothing else? What do you think? Of course I do. I know all about Spencer and Crystal and JR. It's pretty much of a mess out there, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Parts of it, I guess. Most of the people I've met are very nice. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, I figured that out. Otherwise, everything would be destroyed, wouldn't it? Why? <laughs> you don't know your scriptures, do you? I guess not. I, I fibbed last night. When I said that I hadn't been away from here since I was five, I used to go to church meetings with them. Usually in a big tent. Kind of a, a room with soft walls. <coughs> Lots of people and kids. <coughs> Chewy? It's burning. What's, what's happening? 
lightly. You're all right now. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No, wait a minute. You're leaping to conclusions. Oh. oh. Julie. Oh, help me. Help me, please. Help Julie, me. Wait. Heal me, Julie, please. Julie, you're making a mistake. Don't deny what you are. God sent you. You have the gift. It's in your hands. You're a healer. Please, make me see. We prayed for a miracle now. Here you are. Julie, wait. Listen, you're wrong. I'm not what you think. Oh, I'm begging you. I want to go, I want to go out there, and I want to see for myself. I want to know for myself. Please, 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 please. You're not listening. Why are you saying this? It's the truth. <laughs> Is it because I'm a simple person? Is it because I'm a bad person? I'm not. I'm a good person. That's my first self talk. Hey, can fix it. Spark plugs and a hose. You'll be on the road in an hour. We're in trouble. No, you can really fix it. I had to use the sphere. Julie knows about it. She called me a healer. A what? She wants me to make her see. Can you? No. We're in trouble. I don't know what to do about this. Got any ideas? Me? No. Look, uh, when, when you try it and it doesn't work, tell her that the, the moon wasn't in the right position or something, and uh, we have to wait a day. This isn't a time for joking. I think I was serious. Julie? Julie, open the door. Honey, please. I, I want to know what happened. Just leave me alone, okay? Stop acting like a baby and open the door. All right, tell me, what did he do? Nothing, Ma, I already told you. What did he try to do? You just don't understand, do you, Ma? And why do you keep treating me like I'm eight years old? You know why, because you're not like other girls. Women, I'm a woman, not a girl. Okay, I'm blind. But the rest of me is whole, isn't it? I mean, the rest of me is like another woman, isn't it? Something has got you all riled up. What? You're standing there like you was aching to hit me. I'm not a simple person, am I, Ma? Oh, of course not. I'm not blind because I sinned, am I? John, where'd you get such ideas? Then why won't he heal me? It is not up to us to question the Lord's will. Not God, him. Paul. He's got the gift, Ma. He's got the gift and he won't use it on me to make me see. Did he tell you that? Did he tell you he was a healer? I I've never heard such nonsense. And you believed him? It's true. He didn't have to tell me. I was a witness. To what? A miracle of healing. Here you go. You gotta fill up that radiator with water before you start the truck up. Thanks. You really want to thank me? You leave Julie alone. Leave her alone? She lives a safe and simple life out here. And that's the way her mama and I want it for her. I don't think that's what she wants. You know damn well what there is out there for her. Nothing but a lot of pain and grief for a girl like that. Wouldn't it be more painful for her if... 
this is all she knew for the rest of her life? Look, I didn't expect you to understand. Just do what I ask. You can fill the rest of that on up at the house. Lucky for us, you know about these things. Mm. I uh, take a lift up to the house since you're going that way. It's almost full. Should I keep it running? That's what the man said. Julie, come on down now, Julie. Yes, Pa? Your mama's been telling me about something strange. What did you say happened out in that barn? I didn't call it strange. You're the one who says miracles happen every day, aren't you? Well, there's all kinds of miracles. Like when a tree comes up or a flower blooms. You know what I'm talking about. Like when, when Jesus fed the multitudes and when he raised the dead. It's all in the book, isn't it? You're talking about the Bible. You're talking about Jesus, not some drifter in a beat-up camper who just happened by. What's gotten into you, child? What kind of devil you got inside your head? Stop calling me child. And how do you know, how do you know he just happened by? How do you know he wasn't sent? Now, don't get riled. Why does it always have to be the devil? And what about all those preachers that you took me to listen to? And all the healing that was going on that you said was real? Or were you just pretending to believe? Don't you believe in God? Of course we do. What kind of a question is that? I was there. I know what happened. What? What did he say? This, uh, healer? What difference does it make? I know what I know. What did he say? He said he wasn't one. Well, at least he ain't an out and out con man. You don't know him. All I had to do was touch his face, and I knew. He's not like you. He's not like anybody else I've ever been around. Right off, I knew he was different. And there's nothing that you can say that's going to make me change my mind. Oh, I had just about enough sass out of you. You know what I think? I think you don't want me to see. I think you don't want me to go out in the world and find out what life is about. Well, I know I'm going to go. I know as sure as I know that that man is a healer. <laughs> camper is ready, thanks to you. I'd like to talk with Julie for a moment, if I may. No, sir. You don't go one step near her. You've done enough damage already. She told you what happened? I don't know what your game is. All I know is I want you off my property now, before I call the sheriff. You had no right putting that nonsense inside her head. It was a misunderstanding. table. I fixed your engine with all that. What you done to my daughter is no way to repay a kindness. I should have known better than put my hand out to a stranger. Believe me, I won't make that mistake again. Now, both of you, get off my land. I'm sorry for the fear that you have inside of you. What fear is that? Barry, just let him go. It's a great sadness. That yeah, moment's gone. I feel bad not being able to talk to the girl. I don't. I'm glad we're out of there. I think they love her. The same way that I love you. Dad, if that's love, I'll take vanilla. Vanilla? That's a saying. What does it mean? Uh, it means I don't want any part of it. So, uh, 
I'll take vanilla. Well, why not chocolate? Or pistachio? Or Rocky Road? Dad, Dad, it's just a saying, okay? Talk to whoever made it up. I... <laughs> Scott? Yeah? How am I doing? As a father, I mean. You're okay, I guess. I know you don't like some of the things I make you do, but I give you room to grow, don't I? Yeah, but then again, I'm not blind. But you are different. Suppose it showed. Would you want to be locked away from the rest of the world? Never seen a blind person before until Julie. It's not easy for them. Did you hear that? Go with me? What do you mean, go with me? I was meant to go with you. Why else would you have been sent? No one sent me. Look, I know that the farm is nowhere near any of the main roads. We got lost. It was accidental. I don't believe in those kinds of accidents. You got lost and you found me. Yes. And now we found you again and we're going to drive you home. I don't think so. I do. If you take me back, I'm going to tell them that you kidnapped me and that you did things to me. What things? You don't want to know. Julie, it's impossible. I can't help you. I don't believe you. Look, I know, I know that it may not happen all at once. But as sure as there is healing in the world, you're going to make me see. What if they didn't stop in town? Keep going. I've got the license number of his camper. They won't get far. It seems so nice. A healer. <laughs> she found a healer. Julie, please, listen. You've got to believe me. If I could make you see, don't you think I would? You will. I can't. There's no way you can make me believe that. Yes, there is. Dad, no. I've got to. Julie, I'm going to trust you with my life and the life of my son. Dad, we don't even know her. She won't betray us. I can feel it. Only the truth will convince her. What are you talking about? What truth? When you touched my face and my arm, that wasn't me. The body of Paul Forrester isn't who I really am. If you're trying to scare me, I'm still not going to change my mind. I'm not trying to scare you. He isn't. It all started 14 years ago, when I first came to this planet. Fool girl flirting with the first man to come along. She wasn't flirting, and she's right. She is a woman, and she has needs she's discovering. It's not fair what we've done to her. We should move back to the city and put her in school. Let her learn about things, how to get along. We won't be around forever. You keep talking about that stuff, but you've been holding on to her as tight as me. Not for the same reasons. And then he found me. We started to look for my mom. 
Ever since then, we've just been on the road. You understand? There are some things I can do, but to make you see... I understand. I'll take you home now. Yeah, yeah, you can take me home. Come right up front with us. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll ride you back. You're frightened? Yes. There's nothing to be frightened of. I understand. I just would rather ride the back. I'll help her. You know, you don't have to go with him. You don't get it. He's my dad, and I love him. acting scared. Same way you acted when I first told you who I was, huh? Dad, wait, stop. What is it? Uh, Julie, I just saw her back on the sidewalk. Sure, I'm positive. I want her to learn and grow. I'm just afraid for us to be alone without her. Our marriage that hard for you? Living out here, it's not what we started out to do. We didn't start out wanting a blind daughter, either. And whose fault was that? It's all right, it's all right. No harm done, no foul. All right. Now look, this town isn't that big. You go that way and I'll go this way. All right. And then we'll meet back at the camper. Hey, that's it. They're here. Hurry up.
California plates, 438, Paul Charlie Edwards. Also, give me wants and warrants on a Paul Forrester, white male, about six feet tall, 175 pounds, hair brown, eyes blue. Don't worry, folks. They're not going anywhere. We've notified the bus lines and the car rental agencies. We're going to start a systematic search of the whole town. Get out of there. Please help me. I got no time for games, lady. I got three more stops to make tonight. No, wait. Listen, I'm not going to ask you again. Get out of the way or else. Wh which, which way? Please help me. What, are you blind? Yes, I am. Oh. I didn't know. What are you doing? You really can't see, huh? No. Huh. No, if you could just point me to the sidewalk. I, I've just got myself all turned around. Yeah, sure. No! Julie. Paul. Come over with me. Well, who the hell are you? I'm a friend of hers. Oh, yeah? Well, she don't look like she's so glad to see you. <laughs> see, since the little lady and I were just getting acquainted, why don't you butt out? Julie, I want to talk to you. You don't listen too good, do you? Oh. Tough guy, huh? No. Ah! Paul? Paul, what's happening? Paul went home. What do you say, you and I go someplace and get to know each other a little bit? No! Oh, come on, I'm a pretty good guy. I want you to get to know him. Leave me alone! Don't oh, leave me alone! Oh. oh, come on. Huh? You don't listen so good, do you? Oh. Tough guy, huh? Oh! Ah. Paul? Paul, what's happening? It's all right. You're okay now. Julie? I think I have the boy. Right there, son. Julie, what is it that you want? You can't stay here. You must know that. I don't know what I want. I don't know what to believe. How do I know you haven't been making it all up? Making it up? Yeah. I mean, you said some pretty strange things. But I felt it. I know I was burned. And I couldn't feel it after you healed me. I'm going to put something in your hand. It's a silver sphere. It's going to make you see the truth. Not like other people see. In a special way. For you alone. I... Shh. Now wait. something. What? I don't know. What do you see? See? In your mind. Darkness. Darkness and lights. Stars. Stars. Oh, yes, stars. Hundreds and thousands of stars. 
What else? Um, another light. A different light. What color? I don't know. It's blue. Color of the sky? Sometimes. <sighs> what is it? That light, what, what is it? It's me, Julie. It's who I am. And my home is beyond the stars. Oh, it's going. It's gone. No, don't cry. <laughs> it was, was so beautiful that you really are who you say you are. Yes. Well, then, if you can do these things that are like magic that nobody else can do, how come you can't make me see? Because it's not magic. Because I can't fix something when I don't know what's wrong with it. When I first came here, even though I had eyes, I was blind, like you. Nothing was familiar. Everything was strange and frightening. Then, I met someone very special named Jenny. And I learned about love. And now I have Scott. Maybe you can't change that you're blind. Yes, there are going to be people who will probably try to take advantage of you. But there are other people, kind and they're loving people give you the tools to help you live a life with courage and pride and joy. Get away from her! Daddy? That's all right, honey. I I'm here. You get away from her. Daddy, wait. It's all right, honey. There are police all around. You're safe now. Come on over by me. No. What? This is your doing. What kind of lies you've been filling her head with? I don't lie. Not him. It's you, Pa. It's you and Ma. I'm not going to go back to living like that. I can't live in that kind of darkness anymore. Oh, honey, don't. You're blind, sweetheart. I don't think she's talking about that darkness. I think she means the darkness that comes from the walls that you've built up around her. Will you shut up? What are you afraid of? I know. Mom. Mary? I won't say anything, but you're going to have to. I can't. Not here. Not now. You've got to. She needs to hear it from you. What is it? What are you talking about? What's so awful that you can't tell me? I'm the cousin of blindness. Oh, Daddy. Oh, it's true. It's true. You weren't born like this. We were uh, driving home one night. And uh, I'd been drinking. And I crashed the car. And I doomed you to a life of darkness. <laughs> And myself to a hell on earth. I thought God would take pity on us, but uh, oh, the sins of the fathers, the sins of the fathers. All these years, he's been afraid that you'd find out, afraid that you'd hate him. I don't hate you, Daddy. I love you. I love you both. But right now, it, it, it's time for me. Pop. 
Pa, he didn't take me. I hid in his camper. I, uh... I guess I owe you. alarm. What? Uh, we, we won't be pressing any charges. It was all a misunderstanding. You sure? We're sure. We're, we're sorry we bothered you. Let him out. Are you all right? Yeah, I am now. What happened? How did you straighten everything out? I'll tell you all about it later. Julie was right about you. Maybe the Lord did send you. Maybe you are some kind of healer. Don't you start. He's just a guy, just the same as you. You have a safe trip, wherever you go. God bless you. Bye. There's something about him. I too. Something I can't put my finger on. Mom, don't you start to. <laughs> Unit one, we have a hold request on Paul Forrester from Federal Security Agency. Do you copy Unit one? Come in, Unit one.